Hey yo, hello. Welcome to your October 2023 general tarot reading. So, thank you so much for being here. The month of October, Leo's, is going to be quite eventful. We do have two eclipses that are going to happen in Libra and uh, Taurus, but we're going to look at those separately throughout the month. In the meantime, we're going to be looking at the general energies of this month. And intuitively, I feel like there's going to be um, a change in, align, uh, in alliances this month for us, or at least a change in seeing what is good for us and what can bring us more um, fulfillment in our lives. So let's see what the tarot cards have for us. And then I'm going to draw a fortune oracle card, Leo's. The, link, the cards that I'm using have links in the description if you want to check those out. But until then, let's focus on your energies, Leos, for the month of October 2023. Now, we're going to draw the cards. The theme card for you is going to be the Seven of Swords. The focus card is going to be the Four of Swords. The action card is going to be the Emperor card. The challenge card, we have the two of wands. The advice card, the seven of cups. And the outcome card, the five of swords. There's a lot of back and forth within your mind, um, Leos. There's a lot of things that are going around inside your head, your thoughts, your ideas, your your. Um, there seems to be a bit of a chaos there. There seems to be a bit of a, of a defensiveness coming up or at least like a, a, an idea of being combative with others. Because the theme card here is the Seven of Swords. This can be a deceitful energy. You have to be very careful about who you're getting involved with this month. You have to be very careful about what is triggered within yourself this month because you might be tempted because of the challenges that you're facing to cut corners or to um, act a bit corrupt based on your values right or it might be that you're finding yourself in the position where you have to save some ideas from others or it feels to me like you're in a period where you can't really share or trust what you're thinking or even just a bit of chaos in your mind, just a bit of like pressure or it feels to me like there's a desperation uh, coming up and you have to be very careful not to allow yourself to act based on um, pressures or based on fear or based on desperation, right? Because we have here the focus card is the four of swords. So you're definitely planning. You, you want to make things happen. You want to see things um, progress. But now it feels to me like you're so much in your head um, not doing anything, but just like trying to figure out so many courses of action, right? And it might be that you're not seeing all of the possibilities. It might be that you're not seeing all of the, the solutions because you're kind of like fidgeting, right? You're kind of like um, focused on finding the solution as soon as possible, right? It feels to me like it's keeping you in a position of being frozen in this inability to make a decision, right? Indecisiveness, because you have like so many things on your mind. You want to make so many things. You might want to accomplish so many things, but it's just having all of those things. It doesn't help you find the right solution or it doesn't help you see clearly. Um, so you have to figure out um, what your priorities are, I feel. With the action card as the emperor card, you have to really, you have to think about your experience, right? You have to try and either step into your power, just remember everything that you've been going through and try and um, just allow your life lesson to come through for you and to 
kind of like remind you where you can actually make a difference or actually take advice from someone that is very skilled, someone that has the life experience, someone that has the wider picture, that sees the bigger picture, someone that knows how the strings are, are being pulled, someone that has the power to show up for you and being that paternal figure and give you the advice that you need and support you. It's either that or you trying to regain your authority in your life, trying to regain the, 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 the strength and the knowledge that you had, that you always had within yourself and to try to understand that everything is linked together and make a very strong decision. The Emperor card is always ready to go to battle, always ready and always prepared. It's like a very experienced chess player that is always prepared to make the right move. So maybe the action for you here is to act upon your experience, your life experience and to really be careful about the strategies that you employ. Either that or you need the help of someone, the support of someone that is very experienced and you have to be very um, brave in asking for that help. I know it's not easy for you, Leos, but you need to make sure that you're not making anything reckless at this point. So all the help that you need, right? just be honest and ask for help. Because the challenge card is that you can't really see a way forward, right? The challenge card is the two of wands. The two of wands is actually looking at a, a, the wider picture and, and having the world within your hand, having the plan to rule the world or to um, set your aims and to clear out the path for you like visually, right? It's about visualizing what you want to achieve. But I feel like being this your challenge, you're not seeing clearly in your future. You're not able to just materialize that bigger, that vision. You're not able to put together the, the, the puzzles in front of you in order to see exactly what you need to do next. I feel like there is this sense of like not being able to see clearly, not being able to figure out what you need to do next because you are quite you want to make things happen right now so you have to be very careful again not to cut corners because it's not going to be the best way forward for you so we have here the advice card the seven of cups just look around right look around leos see what else what else is out there I feel like you're so focused on solving whatever you think that is important at this moment that you're not maybe seeing that there's other things that you are ignoring that can bring you as much satisfaction as possible. But the bigger question is, what do you want? What will make you feel fulfilled? What is really in alignment with your bigger purpose? I feel that is the question. As soon as you figure that one out, all the roads are going to be revealed to you because once you figure out what the main purpose or of all of your actions are, then you're, you're going to dedicate all your energy into a point and the universe is usually starting to, to put you on the right path, right? But the idea is figure out what is really the purpose of everything that you want to do? What is lying behind every single concern that you have now? So, for example, if you want to, I don't know, like, get some money to, like, do something, right? What is it that, you, that needs to be done that urgently? What is it that is driving you to make that choice? So, as soon as you figure that one out and understand the importance of everything that you're doing in the grand scheme of things, then everything will start uh, aligning, right? The outcome card is the five of swords. I feel like you're going to learn a very difficult lesson that, yes, you can always be right, but that doesn't mean you're going to be happy. You can always be right, 
but that doesn't mean that you're good that the others are going to see things the way that you see them right so you have to always figure out that other perspectives can be as strong as your perspective but it you can't be right and happy at the same time all the time right so others can be offended others can be just sad to see this drive in you that you want to always be right you want to always win and they can distance themselves from from this energy and i think that is a lesson that is going to show up for you in the month of october like ego set aside what do you really want to be happy or to be fulfilled um to be to be to be right or to be fulfilled to be always right no matter what the losses are um and i think like what why is that so important to you to prove yourself to others right why is this so important to you i feel like this is something that you have to figure out for yourself in the month of october leos I feel like this is going to be a very important lesson for you, Leos, and you have to take advantage of the opportunities of figuring out your own motives in the month of October, Leos. Let's see what the Fortune Oracle card has for you. It feels like a challenging month, but also very rewarding when it comes to understanding yourself, Leos. So let's see a Fortune Oracle card. Oh, Cracker. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. So how beautiful is that, right? As soon as you learn these lessons that are going to show up for you in the month of October, you have to understand that positive energy means so much. And you have to allow yourself to feel it. You have to allow yourself to let it into your life, right? What is positive energy for you? How much love are you willing to accept because the five of swords is not talking about love it's talking about the fact that you're not seeing the people that you're losing based on your ambitions right so if love surrounds you if positive energy surrounds you are you seeing it are you sensing it are you allowing yourself to live it right so that's a big question for you, Leos, around the month of October. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you found this useful and hope to see you soon. Take care.